Hey y'all, this is Manny, and in this video, I'm just going to briefly introduce my custom propane system and the appliances I have hooked up to it. Over the last year, I've been uh, custom building this empty van, uh, empty cargo van, into a tiny home. Uh, and if you're just joining us, or if you've been following along the whole time, you might be curious what I'm doing for heat. So this is a Dickinson, Dickinson Marine P12000 uh, propane furnace. They used in boats. I also saw on blogs people use them in, in tiny homes. Um, and this is a two burner suburban stovetop. These are my two propane appliances. Uh, my water heater is electric. Um, and I could talk about that in another video. But while I have done all of this work myself so far, um, with a little help from my dad and some design input from his friends. Um, I have uh, had this propane system professionally installed by Weber Automotive. So they did all the valving and piping here and then the external mount, which I will uh, show you guys here. And then when I'm done taking a walk around the vehicle, uh, I'll talk a little bit about my, my lessons learned with this. So on the outside of the van in the uh, rear driver's side bumper got a door that Weber put in a little hatch to a remote fill station so this um, is a, a device and accessory that they installed along with my propane tank to allow uh, uh, filling stations to give them easy access to fill the tank um, when I initially had this planned out I did not account for this it's a pretty expensive add-on but they did an excellent job and I do think it is necessary. The biggest concern was that, um, like I'm doing right now, sitting in the snow, when it's cold outside, people weren't going to want to fill up the tank. Now, here's the tank. This is a 30-pound uh, propane tank. I'll put a link in the blog post and in this, art, in this video to uh, the tank itself. But I have a 2017 Ford Transit van, and this thing could not line up more perfectly uh, underneath the rear axle with room for the spare tire i don't know if you can see that but it mounts up pretty darn well i think they just had to modify it just a little bit to get those bolt holes but they mount perfectly up with the frame um you'll see they've got the regulator valve there and everything hooked up i had those guys do it um they're qualified uh to actually do propane conversions uh, on vehicles from what I understand so I knew they could at least uh, handle this task um, they did check for leaks and the piping goes all the way under I'll go walk over there to see where it comes out <sighs> above the the kitchen floor and uh, you see there's the there's the gas tank completely unrelated to this and then I suppose um, Shoot, I couldn't tell you. I suppose it comes through the floor here somewhere. You'd have to follow the line. Uh, oh, there it is. So you'll see there's there's the uh, the fixing they did to get the propane line where it comes up out of the floor. Now we'll just go hop back into the van where it's warm. All right, we're back in the van. Um, I'm just going to talk briefly um, my lessons learned with this. When I envisioned this over 18 months ago, kind of laying out the van and, and thought of, well, what am I going to do for heat? Um, I'm from the Midwest and it gets cold today. For example, it's, it's 15 degrees outside. Um, so I went with a gasoline van because it was cheaper. Um, I got a Ford transit they make the, the F-150 motor, uh, uh, outside of Cleveland in Brook Park, Ohio. So I, um, I'm a fan of that and was, uh, attracted to Ford for that reason um, and then the gasoline version because it was five six grand cheaper something like that um, with that being said that kind of left my options with electricity or propane uh, electricity is an incredibly inefficient way to heat something so maybe the engineer in me said well let's let's uh, avoid that and and the more efficient uh, uh, solution or resource would be propane um one of the reasons i really liked propane is the idea is you know when it's 
when you're out in the snow and you got snow on top of your solar panels, you're not going to get electricity anyways, but uh, the propane works uh, rain or shine, um, doesn't need any light at all. Uh, so I, I decided to go with the propane, but what I initially envisioned as maybe a thousand dollars for the propane tank and uh, set up. Um, and, uh, I knew the heater, I knew this heater was going to cost 700 bucks. I knew it, but I, I like it for a number of reasons. Um, I'll get into the kind of the math on how it's supposed to heat this small space, but, uh, I liked it for the aesthetics. I mean, we have this you know, fake stainless steel look, fake stainless steel, but it, it kind of is uh, a design element, a design piece as much as anything else. But had I known what ended up uh, cost, total cost of install of the propane tank, which I think was about 400 bucks for the, um, the 30 pound propane tank, and then the install, which was another 2,600 bucks. I mean, we're talking after tax and everything, spent about $3,000 to have, uh, just the tank and the hookups to uh, the stove. And I, and I thought about DIY solutions. I'd seen a guy on the internet that had put a basically a, a outdoor gas grill propane tank inside the van in a sealed compartment. Ultimately, um, I, while I, I initially thought it was gonna go that way, I, I did not feel comfortable going that route. Um, I think that uh, especially mixing electricity with uh, gas vapors is uh, very serious so I, I wanted to have uh, somebody do it and I wanted to be outside of the van so there it is it's outside it's working it's installed the guys did a great job it's very clean um, they did a great job but had I known that it was gonna cost three grand I would have taken that three grand I would have put it towards the cost of a diesel engine and then I would have gotten uh, a diesel heater so there are um, appliances i guess you could call them that would tap in typically under like a passenger seat and uh tap into the diesel line and use the diesel fuel itself to heat the space fairly efficiently and i i can say pretty confidently um looking back had i known well, i would have switched this out entirely so this this guy would be gone um and the diesel heater would be in place i don't off the top of my head i don't know what one of those diesel heaters would cost um, maybe I'll put one uh, comment on it in the in the the blog post, the supporting blog post. Um, but uh, that's really it. I all I can do is move forward. I think I've got a good system here. Um, the propane fill up is accessible. Uh, there are some positives to it. Uh, for example, I don't need to have the car running to have heat. I could run independently, which is more discreet. Um, particularly if I was parked in a, a neighborhood street uh, or somewhere. Uh, that, that people were kind of walking around or, or uh, had a line of sight to the vehicle um, or I guess within an earshot but uh, all I could do is move on it's been uh, kind of a three month delay um, uh, for a number of reasons but it's it's here it's December it's been a year still working on this thing maybe I'm 75% done and the next the next order of business is to take on the bathroom with the toilet and shower, get the water hooked up to the sink, and uh, just keep moving along. It is what it is. Happy New Year.